What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel, welcome to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet VGC series, or Regulation C video. I, don't, I, I literally am never gonna get used to it, I'm gonna say Series 3 until I die, or until Regulation D comes out. Uh, but yeah, um, I actually put out a video a few days ago talking about different combos you can run with the Ruinous Pokemon. However, uh, we have Fort Wayne Regionals coming up in uh, one, two, three days. Um, so what I wanted to do was I, I realized that while I talked about partners for the Ruins, I never actually gave like a moveset guide. So I think this is going to be a good time to just get it over with because Regulation C is right around the corner. So I'm going to just talk about how you should run these Pokemon generally, some ideas I have if you guys want to steal them from me. And yeah, if you guys enjoyed this, then point in time, do me a favor, leave a like in the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn notifications because I bring you daily competitive Pokemon content. That's my comment question of the day, which is, which one of these ruins, check this out, I'm going to catch you off guard here, do you not want to face the most? Let me know. Anyways, let's get into it. So, uh, oh, and one more thing. If you guys want coaching, a lot of you guys ask me for coaching. I do not provide coaching. I'm too busy and I'm not good enough the game to provide coaching. I just talk about the game and I share my learning experiences with you. Uh, be sure to check out X9 Academy for some coaching. Joe offers uh, great coaching and uh, I'm currently working with him uh, to uh, just, you know, step up my game a little bit more. So make sure you check him out. Link down in the description if you guys want uh, coaching because you guys ask me all the time, but I do not offer it. Anyways, let's get into it. So, Chi Yu, I think... All right, so here's here's how it's gonna go. Chi Yu and Chen Pao are probably the most splashable of the ruins, and by that I mean they are the sort of ruins that you can use if you're running a balanced team or a hyper offense team, and you don't want to have to think too much about board positioning, uh, and you want to just hit things. They're, they're like the hyper offensive ruins, right? So let's start off with Chi Yu. Uh, Beads of Ruin will lower everything's special defense stat by. Uh, one quarter, therefore leaving it at 75%, meaning that this thing's special attack stat is effectively like life orbed. Like it is, it has a built in life orb. It's kind of crazy. Um, and it's actually not at a bad speed tier. If you want a very basic way of running Chi Yu, Choice Scarf is not a bad set. You can literally just go uh, Snarl, Dark Pulse, Overheat, and like Heat Wave. Uh, if you want to mess with a few of the uh, moves, you can actually drop some stuff. Uh, I have actually seen Scarf Lava Plume be used next to uh, Bax Calibre before. I didn't think it was a good idea. I, I thought it was actually quite bad. Uh, but yeah, that's like an option. Also, if you want to run a Terra that helps it out versus Palafin, you can actually run Terra Grass. And I would say you want to drop Snarl at, the, at that point for Terra Blast. Or you can use whatever Terra type you like. That being said, this thing actually doesn't necessarily need to run uh, a lot of physical, or not physical attack, a, a lot of special attack to really get the job done. And it also doesn't need to hit um, max speed to be completely useful. In fact, I would say that if you're running Choice Scarf, the only real speed tier that you actually want to hit consistently uh, would be to outspeed stuff like Iron Bundle if its booster energy doesn't get used up. So let me actually pull up uh, this spread that I came up with uh, earlier today. Let me see if I can find it, actually. Uh, da, 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 da. I know it's in here somewhere. Hold on. Where are you? Was it... Where is it? I just had it. I'm gonna find it. Uh, this? No. Alright, well... Point is, you don't need to run like a lot of defense, or you don't you don't need to run a lot of uh, special attack. You could actually run a decent amount of uh, defense uh, and get a lot of value out of it. As a matter of fact, this thing's HP stat is the lowest of all of it, and its defense stat isn't that bad. So you actually get the most value out of increasing um, its HP stat if you want to increase its defense. So what you could actually do is hit like a benchmark where you know you one shot certain things. I'm pretty sure this is like the benchmark to like KO Golden Go with like Dark Pulse. Like it's. Like, it has to be, like, no bulk Golden Go, but at that point, you know, you're able to dump, like, into uh, defense and special defense. Uh, and if I remember correctly, what is it? It is um, 206 that Iron Bundle hits. Timid. Yeah, 206. So what you can actually do is just go 207 divided by 1.5, and that hits 138. So you actually just decrease to 138 and go, like, modest. Yeah, it was something like this. Like, you can actually just go ahead and 
run like a really fat spread like this and it actually has a decent synergy with Wo Chen. Now Wo Chen doesn't have like synergy with Chi Yu, don't get me wrong. Chi Yu uh, will lower Wo Chen's special bulk. But if you have both of them on the same team, Chi Yu will be able to eat up things like um, Palafin, like Jet Punch, uh, even without Terra if you like do this. And that's like big boy Palafin. Like I've seen it happen before. It's kind of crazy. So yeah, uh, Chi Yu has that option as like a way to run it. Other ways to run it, Life Orb is obviously quite good. Um, you could actually just go ahead and just run like max speed at that point. Just like a very basic spread. And that will allow you to chunk everything. Uh, nothing really switches in on overheat. That's just like a nuke option. And yeah. Uh, other things that I've seen done with Chi Yu, Focus Sash isn't a bad item for it due to its low bulk uh, and the ability for this thing to outspeed most Pokemon that like don't have priority moves. Uh, like the speed tier of this game's high, don't get me wrong, but like if you can get rid of like the Iron Bundle or the Flutter Main, you're going to outspeed most other Pokemon and they get two shot by Dark Pulse or Heat Wave. So yeah. Uh, with Focus Sash, that also opens up your options to run things like Taunt. Uh, Taunt will allow you to uh, shut down Pokemon that you might not be able to deal with. For example, if they have like a particularly bulky Trick Room Pokemon uh, that's able to eat up a hit from Shiyu, like, uh, I don't know, like, let's say that they're running. Let's go with Arm Rouge. Like, if Arm Rouge wants to go for like Terra Dark, uh, at that point, Flash Fire makes it immune to. Uh, the fire move that you want to go for and like dark makes it resist the uh, the dark move that you want to go for. So having that taunt option isn't bad. But yeah, Chi Yu, very basic. If you want to pair it with anything, I covered it in the other video, but uh, some of the most common partners are obviously going to be strong special attackers that are very fast. Fluttermane comes to mind. Um, if I could type right, Fluttermane comes to mind, but also Iron Bundle is quite good because it gives you some decent speed control. As a matter of fact, Booster Energy Iron Bundle with like Icy Wind next to... Chi Yu with like a life orb is actually super threatening and I don't think I'd want to face that ever. So yeah, uh, that's that's like a basic way to run Chi Yu. I think that, that pretty much covers the gist of what Chi Yu does. Ruination is also an option I should cover. All of these Pokemon have Ruination. I don't think Chi Yu is the best user of it because Ruination will half the target's uh, HP step. So, you know, another way to decrease the HP with Chi Yu is probably just to hit it with like an overheat. That'll actually probably decrease it by 100%, so, you know, keep that in mind. Chen Pao. Uh, I actually think Chen Pao is a little bit... I think people tunnel vision too much with it. Uh, the easiest way to run Chen Pao would be this, right? Easiest way to run Chen Pao. Jolly. Give it a Focus Sash. Give it Ice Spinner. Uh, Ice Spinner. Sucker Punch. Uh, Sacred Sword or Throat Chop, in my opinion. It's one or the other. Uh, and your last move is going to be like protect. So what, and also your terror type is going to want to be ghost because uh, Chen Pao doesn't want to be faked out. Uh, it, granted, it's not like the least bulky Pokemon, but ice and dark is a notoriously weak typing defensively, but offensively it hits quite a bit. So the way that you want to run Chen Pao is just a fast physical attacker, obviously. That 135 makes it speed tie with opposing Fluttermane, uh, but keep in mind that does make you slower than opposing Iron Bundle. Oh look, I'm bringing them back up. These are pretty much the Pokemon the format runs around. Uh, as, as strong as the Ruins are, I think Fluttermane and Iron Bundle are still going to remain some of the most influential. However, I think Iron Bundle is a little bit worse now. So yeah. Uh, Chen Pao, this is like the basic moveset for it. It pairs well with strong physical attackers. Think. Palafin, which actually covers for fire types for it, makes Chi not want to like come in on it. And also Dragonite. These are probably the two best ones for it. I think those are actually like the easiest to splash onto a team. Uh, but another one you might want to consider is actually going to be Dragapult. Dragapult uh, is not only fast, but outspeeds Iron Bundle without booster energy. It can run like Terra Steel to not drop to Fluttermane and also outspeed it. That gives you Terra Blast. But most importantly, it's clear body. And you can run like dragon darts to chip everything and then in the back you run like dondozo this is like a thing that i've been testing out and it's actually not terrible so keep that in mind but yeah that's like this is the basic champ house spread uh but it once again is a pokemon that could actually invest in bulk if it really wanted to something that i actually tried on a recent video was this it was a little weird right um but i actually dropped protect for substitute and i dropped Sacred Sword for Swords Dance. Now, you could actually drop the Clear Amulet and just put like leftovers and then make this kind of a bulkier guy. Um, 
yeah, because once again, like Chim Pao is like the sort of mon where it outspeeds like a lot of things that it needs to. Um, and it's like special defense stat is so low that if you really wanted to eat like a Flutter Moon Moonblast, you could actually go about doing that. Um, but I would actually recommend you run like Terra Steel at that point. Uh, and what that'll allow you to do is run like less attack investment. Let's just throw an arbitrary number out there. Uh, and then focus on bolstering like your bulk, whatever like bulk you really need to do like this. This is just like a random one. Um, actually we're running substitutes. So technically, or we're sub leftovers for this one. So we want to be like 160 HP for the best leftovers recovery. And then like that, this is like a hypothetical spread. Like I'm not actually calcing anything here. Uh, but this allows you to, uh, substitute on a lot of Pokemon that are threatened by Chen Pao inherently because Chen Pao like provides so much pressure just by existing that I, I doubt like a lot of Pokemon will want to not protect and like have another Pokemon deal with it in a lot of situations. So when that sort of happens, when your opponent's forced to make like a defensive switch, like a switch into an Arcanine, that gives you an opportunity to go for like a substitute and then next turn go for a sword stance. And at that point, you know, Terra Water is not bad for it. If you really want to make sure you beat like Arcanine um, and also not drop to um, like Chiyu, this is a way that you could run it. I, don't, I, I feel like as we go on in the format, we might actually see bulkier Chen Pao's become a thing. Yeah. Uh, Chen Pao, very basic. Other moves it has its, uh, at its disposal. Haze is obviously quite nice. Ice Shard is pretty useful. Icy Wind isn't like the worst thing ever because it lets you, you know, Icy Wind things. And it technically does have Recover. Very cool. Also Taunt. Uh, but I think that, you know, the easiest way to run Chen Pao is just going to be that Sash Max Max spread. Wo Chen. I would argue Wo Chen is unironically the best of the ruins. Um, and it is because of how easy it is to slot this guy onto a team. Defensive Pokemon love him. Ting Lu and Wo Chen synergize together like bread and butter. It is crazy. So leftovers or citrus berry is going to be like your best item for it. But keep in mind that Wo Chen at max HP is actually divisible by 16. So that makes uh, its max HP set an optimal stat for, um, for getting leftovers recovery. And I would actually always recommend you run at least four speed on your Wo Chen to outspeed other Wo Chen because Pollen Puff in the ditto is going to be a little bit important. Uh, calm nature is usually quite good. You can just like hit whatever special defense that you really need to hit and then dump the rest in like, spe or special defense that, and then like dump the rest into special attack uh, and defense. This guy lowers everything's attack stat by uh, 25%, therefore making it extremely bulky. Uh, Pollen Puff allows you to give recovery to your partner Pokemon uh, while also being a damaging move. Uh, this thing also has access to Leech Seed, and Protect is basically mandatory on this thing for uh, stalling. So, like, these three moves, I think you never leave home without. That last move is where you get creative. Substitute is a thing I've seen on, like, faster Wo Chen, but typically speaking, your best moves are going to be Foul Play for uh, dealing consistent damage against other things, because uh, Tablets of Ruin actually doesn't decrease Foul Play's damage. Funny enough, at least I I'm, like, 99% sure that's how it works. I, I think I saw it on a Twitter thread once. Don't quote me. Uh, but this thing also has access to knockoff, which I have run a few times on some test teams because it allows you to get rid of leftovers recovery on things like opposing uh, Garganical, therefore making it hard for them to stall you out. You're able to get rid of choice specs on uh, Fluttermane if you're running like a defensive Terra typing, which by the way, I would say the best Terra typing for this thing is going to be Poison because that allows you to avoid poison damage from Glamora. Granted, they're not running like Corrosion, but also defensively, it's quite good since you're usually weak to bug moves, fighting moves, ice moves, uh, poison has good defensive synergy with uh, Grass Dark, so keep that in mind. Uh, and obviously, this is a very good move on it too. Ruination. It is a move that just cuts the HP stat in half. So if a Pokemon doesn't have recovery and it's being Leech Seed stalled, you can just expedite that by cutting its HP stat in half. Other moves that has access to Taunt is obviously quite good. If you want to run Stun Spore, I actually don't think it's like the worst move ever, but it is super inaccurate. Uh, so I think that's a little bit lame. Snarl isn't that bad either. In fact, if you want to drop your last move for Snarl, uh, that also makes Wo Chen extremely uh, hard to KO on the special side. So and, and while supporting the team. So yeah, Wo Chen is very easy to use. Uh, defensively, like things that work with it, Garganical, Ting Lu, uh, Glamora. These are all Pokemon that you should definitely consider running with Wo Chen, uh, but it is 100% a stall mod. Finally, the antagonist of this format. Ting Lu could single-handedly ruin this format. Here's why. It is a Pokemon that decreases the special attack stat of everything in the field except for itself uh, to 75%. You can very easily just do something like this. I don't know. Let's go with like an arbitrary 
stat. Um, sorry, I just accidentally Googled something. There we go. Zero speed is pretty much going to be what you want to run to make sure you're like under trick room, you're like optimal. Max out that special defense stat, give it some like defense or whatever. Um, I forget what spread I was running, but like you can get it. So like heavy slam always one shots uh, non bulky flutter main and you run like heavy slam, you run stomping tantrum, you run a third move, whatever it wants, whatever you like want it to be. Uh, bulldoze is fine. Rock tomb is fine. I've even seen sand tomb to like trap things in with it. But I have been hard pressed to find a Ting Lu that isn't running Fissure. Now here's the math with Fissure. You have about a 94% chance to land one out of your eight Fissures. Granted, each one of them is allowed to hit something. That is scary. Um, but also Ting Lu's like fat enough that it can just sit on the field forever. It doesn't need to switch. You, you run like Terra Poison on this guy as well. Uh, Terra Poison or Terra Grass, depending on like what your use case is here. Um, once again, defensively, that's quite good with Tinglu. You resist fighting moves then, uh, and things won't be clicking psychic moves into you as you are a dark type usually. It has the longevity and the bulk to just sit on the field. 155 HP, 125 defense, 80 special defense with like a 30% boost on it effectively. It is, it is very hard to KO. You can click as many fissures as you want. Opposing stall teams, Don Dozo, if they don't have a sub, gone. Um, what's it called? Uh, Wo Chen, if they don't have a sub, possibly gone. Garganical, once again, possibly gone. Like, you'll need flying types to deal with this thing consistently. And at that point, it's also going to be able to go for, like, heavy slams into you. It can run Snarl if it wants. But its last move, Ruination, it's just such a good support move. It's super difficult to deal with. And yeah, Pokemon that it like pairs well with, obviously Pokemon that have pretty low special defense stats, but um, maybe just want to bolster their special defense as well. I think Annihilate, like while it doesn't have a special defense stat, it synergizes super well with Ting Lu, since a lot of Annihilate will want to run um, Terra Fire. Uh, they're not going to be weak to fairy moves anymore, uh, and that will allow Annihilate to stay in on things like Fluttermane and go for its bulk ups and its rage fists and its drain punch. Uh, and you like pretty much always run like leftovers on this guy or like citrus berry, whatever item really defiant makes it so they can't really intimidate the Ting Lu. And it's just, it, it's like a, it's like a mouse hold, but with like no follow me. Like that's how you like think about it. It's like crazy. Other Pokemon that pair well with Ting Lu, obviously Wo Chen is one that we uh, mentioned previously, uh, but I've also seen Bax Calibur actually run the assault vest themselves and have the Ting Lu run like leftovers. And like AV backs becomes really difficult to, to deal with. But another thing that you could do is actually keep the assault vest on this guy and run um, loaded dice backs caliber with swords dance, ice shard, swords dance, ice shard, glaive rush, and um, icicle spear. And that's actually been really consistent from what I see from my opponents. And yeah, it, like your terror type would either be poison or steel. I think poison's probably still better, but then you would have to like reconsider your poison on your Ting Lu. So yeah, uh, this this Pokemon is insane. And like you have to really think about your matchup going into it and how you're going to avoid getting fissured because it could at any point remove something from the field. So make sure you have an answer for Ting Lu on your team. That's going to be it for me today, guys. Uh, this is just a brief overview of each uh, ruinous Pokemon and how you should be using it. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. If you guys enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.